I've just filmed a get ready with me on my TikTok and now I'm filming YouTube intro for the new video. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what's come over me. I feel amazing today. I feel like I'm ready to take on the day. I'm ready to do everything you guys want me to do and see all the content and do all the content. Okay, but seriously, hi guys. I'm sorry it's taken me so long. We're back, it's a fresh week, and what better time to start a new vloggy vloggy. You know what throws me off about, about vlogging is that where I'm looking at myself, it looks completely different to when I put it on the laptop. So I'm like wigging half the time that I'm filming that the colors are all weird, I look weird. You know, she's an overthinker. She's an overthinker. Anyway. This is the um, get ready outfit. I just filmed a TikTok get ready with me for like the first time ever. And I don't know what's come over to me. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what's come over me today, but like I'm filming, I'm starting a new YouTube vlog. I've just filmed a TikTok get ready. Like, are you okay girl? Are you okay girl? I mean like these are the things I wanna do and I wanna get better at being more consistent with them, but like, it just takes me a lot to get there and like actually film it because not to go gold deep or anything but like I definitely struggle with like perfectionism and you know how I view myself um, on camera and yeah like that's a conversation for another time but I definitely feel like I growing up modeling starting at like age 16 and then like what's it been like almost eight years now of like modeling it's like your job is about how you look and i look at myself so intensely and analyze every little part of me and because i'm a virgo moon i am a perfectionist so on it, that's the truth I'm not looking for empathy sympathy whatever that's honestly why i can never pick up the camera unless i'm like feeling good about myself or i'm in a really good mood because it is something that I'm I struggle with and um, yeah anyway that was a really interesting deep dive to the beginning of a vlog but look we're back it's a new week it is January 29 and today this week's gonna be a good week uh, I feel it I've got a few meetings I've got a hair appointment I think the last vlog I did too I had a hair appointment and I'll also give you guys a hair update as well Anyway, I am going to finish getting dressed because I'm still in my pajama pants and I'm going to go for a walk and then I'm going to meet Ashton for brunch and I'll take you guys along for my week. Thanks so much for being patient with me with YouTube and I see all your comments and I actually love so much that even though it takes me so long to get up new videos, you guys always want to see more and you're always supporting me and honestly, I love my YouTube community. I feel like it's so different to any other platform and the comments that I do get from you guys they're just so sweet and I can tell they're so genuine and you actually care about listening to me and you know hearing about my life even though I think it's boring half the time which is why I don't vlog anyway anyway this has been a long intro I love you guys and I'm excited to be back also I don't know why I'm puffed I do this every time I chat for too long all right Bye. Welcome back. We are going for a walk on the treadmill there. Do airpods stick out of anyone else's head like they stick out of mine? I don't know why they do that. I'm walking inside today because it's raining outside. I do want to bring my camera down, so excuse the iPhone, but I'll um, check in with you guys after my walk. Hi. Hi, she's back on the vloggy. The vloggy vloggy. It the is going to be one of those days where the vloggy vloggy Fuggy, gets foggy foggy. foggy. <laughs> you know that thing? Did a lot of shit just a little bit last time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. 
We always do a sharing moment. Yeah. Something savory, something sweet. Yeah, the lip. Yeah, this is my red lip plumper. Plumps up my lips real nice and good. I love it. The saying, guys. Guys. Um, I got the road lip tide pep treatment. Lip tide lip. <laughs> lip tide pep, pep treatment. Pep tide lip treatment. But Ashton shipped it to me from London, so in the flight it gets really cold and it crystallizes. So I got all these like granules and like crystallization all over my lips when I use it. I still love it, like it's still really good, but just a shame that that happens when it goes on the plane. Anyway, what I was coming on for, it is four o'clock. Is that what the time was? Roughly. Roughly four o'clock. And I've just started on dinner because we're gonna have an early one tonight because I had brunch. So I thought I would come on and show you um, my favorite go-to dinner when we don't know what to make for dinner. I mean, this is our favorite all the time. I'm really good at making it, I'm just saying. And I'll, um, yeah, I'll just show you guys instead of keeping on talking about it. Teriyaki chicken. Oh, God, I almost spilled that. This is amazing. I wish you guys could smell this through my camera. Anyway, so here I am. We're going to get cooking. cooking. I'm going to cook this on here. It's already heating up. We want a hot pan. <laughs> I've got the rice going here already. It's just bubbling up. And then the broccoli is in the microwave. It's going to be steamed. Don't call me lazy. It's easy and it gets the job done. So. All right. Let's get to it. This is actually a really good spot for you guys to see. So I heat up the pan like quite a bit because we want the hot pan. And then it should sizzle when we put it in. So the best way to do this is cook it for like until it's pretty much done and then you take the chicken out and you cook the sauce until the sauce gets syrupy and then you put the chicken back in and mix it all together and that's what makes the sauce go thick without overcooking the chicken and making it go dry. But when we get to that step I'll show you. But yeah, I love cooking, it's so much fun. We're at about 90% cooked now, so I'm going to take it out and use something that's got like holes at the bottom so you don't take the sauce out, you just take the chicken out. Okay, so then once the chicken's out, you just want to cook this, see how it's bubbling? You just want to stand at the stove and keep cooking it um, until it turns into like a thick syrupy thing. Like right now it's pretty much water. You want it to be like kind of thick, but I'll show you once it gets there. Just make sure you stay at the stove and you keep um, you keep mixing it so it doesn't burn. So we're at the stage now where it's turning into a syrup. You can kind of see the thickness of it. Like if I do that, you guys can see it's not so runny anymore. So now is your time to add the chicken back in. This is what gives the chicken like that really nice like golden coating of sauce. Okay, last step to this is sesame seeds. Harry doesn't like them, but I love them. So I just sprinkle a little bit on top and then you're all good to go, really. Doesn't that just look amazing? <laughs> anyway, you get the vibes. Look at that. It's a bit messy. Let's just excuse that part of the plate, but... Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Thanks for watching and now we're gonna go watch Love Island All Stars. Tuesday. What's the time, Joe? 11, 11, Joe. Is it? Yes. Really? It is. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh my god. <gasps> is it really? <gasps> that's
that's so cute guys it's 11 11 and i that was just a coincidence that means something um as you can see by the state of what's behind me this is the spare room aka the dump um it mostly lasts about a week of being clean after i clean it and then it ends up back at this spot so it's a really gross day outside. We had a bit of a sleep in this morning. I didn't go to Pilates when it was booked at seven o'clock because I woke up and I was like, no, I'm not doing it. So now I'm on the wait list for the afternoon um, class, which is at 4.30. And if I don't get into that, I'll go to the gym or do a walk or something. But uh, on today's agenda, agenda is this room. I've already done some washing. We've cleaned the whole living room and kitchen this morning. We yeah, I said that. Oh. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to... supposed to think that, that I'm not getting up and down leaving it to mum's. No, Harry's very much involved. Um, <laughs> so we, well I am going to tackle this room while Harry's doing some work stuff on the couch. And I'm going to time lapse it for you because I feel like that would be kind of fun to watch. I mean, I always love watching people clean up, so I'll give you a full view of what's going on in there. And then I'll set up the time lapse and you guys can watch me fix this mess. Okay, so this is what we're working with. Please don't judge me. Like, this is the only room that actually gets really dirty in the house. Um, it's basically like a dressing room. So that's why it gets dumped. All my packages that I get, get dumped in here. That is my Depop bag pile that, like, I always put clothes in. Clothes rack. Harry's wardrobe. And then a lot of floor space, which means perfect space for throwing shit. So yeah, I'm gonna get to it now. The before. Okay, so this is where we've ended up. I actually did that kind of fast. I'm a little bit shocked at how quick that took me. Um, hung everything up. Harry's stuff's still here because he needs to deal with that. He's washing, whatever. And yeah, it feels so much better. I feel like when your space is clean, it just feels like your head is clean. So morning and then I have a meeting at crop shop about new samples that have arrived for CSB XIM. First up is hair CSB meeting and then I have another meeting just like a coffee meeting with a potential business opportunity collaboration style thing. I won't tell you guys what it is yet because you know it's just the, the first conversation to see if it's a potential um, relationship, but hair, let's talk hair. In the last vlog, I would have told you that my hairdresser was like, oh, your hair's different and blah, blah, blah. Since then, I've been using rosemary oil, which I'm having right now, before every single wash, and I leave it on for four hours. I do like a scalp massaging. I also have been taking um, hair tablet from the beauty chef. I, I got sent, sent them ages ago, not sponsored or anything, but I've been really consistent with them two every single day. And I have seen a little bit of new growth like down my hair, like it's starting to like stick out in, in areas. It's honestly not that much different to, it's definitely slightly changed since I've started doing all of these things, but you know, I don't know. It's my hair's obviously going through the seven year period where it has like a you know, cycle or whatever. I mean, I'm putting it down to that. I hope it's that and that it comes back to be really healthy, but we'll see what my hairdresser says today. Um, I'm going to chop off maybe like two inches. I'll put in some inspo pics that I found on Pinterest so you can see that, so you guys can see like the vibe that I'm thinking of. Um, I definitely just want it to feel more full and if I have to go a bit shorter, I'm okay with that. Yeah, anyway, we, we shall see, guys. We shall see 
what my hairdresser says and we should see the outcome. I'm actually really excited to get like a blunt blowout. Like it's probably going to be like about there, I reckon. Like even a little bit shorter, which is short for me. But I'm going, I'm thinking like it's giving 90s, it's giving Jennifer Aniston. You know, I feel like, I feel like because I was in a rush, I'm now like, got anxiety and I'm like whew anyway also guys I'm coming to you from my new car I posted about it on my TikTok and one story on my Instagram I got my dream car and I'm so so in love with her like it is it feels so nice to drive around in a car that like you're proud of and I don't know I'm just really really happy in the cream interior I die I die like that was my my one thing that I wanted with my new car. I was like, whatever I get, I'm getting cream interior. And no one can stop me because I don't have kids. I don't have a dog. I'm getting cream interior. short but it's actually so cute like it's so healthy it's giving expensive like I feel like my hair just looks so healthy and nice I'm so happy like I feel like I really needed this and it kind of looks a little bit darker too which I'm also loving oh my god I'm obsessed I am obsessed I'm obsessed it's exactly what I wanted it is, it's so good. It's so healthy. <laughs> Yay, okay. I'm on my way to my meeting now and I'm a little bit late so I feel really bad for the girls but I'll, um, I'll talk to you guys when I get there. I'll show you the office, all that jazz. She feeling herself. By the way, I'm driving with my knee. Anyway, I need to get off the camera. Bye, oh my God, what's happening? Gracie, give it away. Oh, give it away. Can you see? <laughs> give it away. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome to the CSB office. What are we doing today? We're doing a little bit of sampling. That's what we're doing, right? Yeah. We're reviewing some samples. We're reviewing some concepts and then materials for X, Y, and Z. For. <laughs> <laughs> morning for me and my new hair. Yep, me too guys. Still loving it. Like it's still, it's feeling fresh. As you should girl. Anyway, I'm making a coffee and I thought I would show you it again this morning. Oh, watch out! What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Ow, I have period pain. <laughs>
feel like the sun heals me and like rejuvenates me and the sun hasn't been fully out for like ages so this is amazing and I know that I will feel better after I'm being in the sun for a little bit. I also feel like I have been fighting something this week like every time it hits every night that it hits like 5 p.m my throat starts to feel sore and then when I wake up it's like that feeling of when you're starting to get sick but it's not quite progress because I keep taking armor force every day to try and beat it but I know that the sun will help me also I feel like this vlog has definitely been a chill week at home like there's not much been going on but I still wanted to vlog for you guys and I still am excited to post this and hope that you guys love it and enjoy watching it I've also been on my period this week so I feel like I'm feeling like emotional and like unmotivated and just like a bit lazy but anyway just wanted to have a quick chit chat while i was down here look at the stunning day on it i've just made some lunch i have a tuna lettuce rocket cucumber avocado salad so good having it with my favorite coconut water i love it so much and good for hydration um but yeah i think i thought i would just sign off the vlog here because it's friday afternoon and i don't have much more to vlog i thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in my next video